Now let's take a look at the vector mixtures in the graphics display. Vector 1 and vector 2 are selected by pressing this button. So there's number 2 and there's number 1. A vector mixer is a standard for input mixer that has some extra controls to it. So just thinking of it as a mixer, if we listen to the four uh, oscillator differences here. So that's our four choices. Could be any number of things. Wouldn't have to be four oscillators. And then for each one of these, we have a level control. You know, say for example, one of the inputs is a sample that's not as loud as the other oscillators or whatever. So you can you can uh, change the levels here, and then on the second page, you can assign a controller source. And here I've got the joystick X, 100% controlling it, and joystick Y. So if I move over to the joystick, and you'll hear those four. Where in the center we have a normal uh, mix. And of course, you can offset these values over here. You might want to move the X for some reason for initial offset value. Maybe you're using an LFO or a ribbon controller or a looping envelope or something. And when you go to the second one, here you can see I've got different inputs. I can even source the first vector as an input to the second one or vice versa and so on and so forth. So two pages for each and those are the vector mixers.